He was a seer of visionary, the inventor of remote control, the motors that we use today. It's the wireless transmission of radio signals. Electricity available 24-7 anywhere you live on the Earth. Even more than the 20th century. the man of the 20th century. Many might still know who he was, but his name surely rings a bell, and they are certainly familiar with his incredible inventions. Nikola Tesla is the man who had lit the previous century and bridged the gap leading into the next, with over 900 patents approved across his lifetime. We owe him everything from LED lights, alternating current, Tesla turbine, Tesla coil, radio and remote control, the magnifying transmitter, neon lamp, x-rays, Adams power plant transformer house, induction motor, electric cars, robotics, laser, wireless communications and limitless free energy, artificial tidal wave to electric-powered supersonic airship or death beam, and many, many other patents. Tesla was making very substantial claims about so-called teleforce rays that could bring down airplanes from thousands of miles away. His interest in building what we now call robots, but he built that remote control uh, boat two decades before the word robot was even coined. He was working on radio-controlled torpedoes, robot ships, all sorts of things. And these are all inventions on the surface inventions that humans at that stage of evolution could grasp and understand. However, few people know that Nikola Tesla had tapped into a source of unlimited energy. He thought that the Earth itself was like a giant condenser, that the Earth contained a great deal of natural energy, and was on the verge of handing the people of this planet a gift of free energy until the powers that be had stopped him in his tracks. The most important thing Tesla required in order to accomplish his plan was funding. He was an inventor, not a businessman. So during his lifetime, he came across various hurdles that would hinder his progress towards the future he envisioned for humanity. Even so, Tesla pursued his dreams until his final hour. Not only he wished to give free, wireless energy to the world, he also wanted to establish long-lasting peace on Earth. For this goal alone, he designed the perfect plan. He would engineer a weapon so powerful that its energy bursts would bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 200 miles from a defending nation's border and will cause armies to drop dead in their tracks. Tesla claimed that his uh, death beam would be able to destroy an attacking enemy air fleet. He said that this would also be able to stop an enemy army uh, up to a million men. By constructing this tremendously powerful apparatus and distributing it to all leading nations, he would ensure that war would not make sense anymore, since everyone would have an impenetrable offensive and defensive force. Tesla thought that by selling his invention to the world superpowers, he would receive the funding required to carry on with his ultimate experiment of generating unlimited energy. Tesla was convinced that if he could tap the resonance energy of the Earth, that he would be able to create waves that would, in theory, never dissipate. He initially reached out to J.P. Morgan Jr. Janet Tesla's wireless electricity for the world and all one needs is a cheap little device to receive it. How do you charge people for that? There's no goddamn profit in it, you vainglorious idiot. At a time when war clouds were once again forming above Europe. I have made recent discoveries of inestimable value. The flying machine has completely demoralized the world. So much that in some cities, as London and Paris, people are in mortal fear from aerial bombing. 
The new means I have perfected afford absolute protection against this and other forms of attack. Nonetheless, Morgan was unconvinced of Tesla's idea. He then tried to persuade Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain of Great Britain. His proposal was diligently considered, but upon Chamberlain's resignation after Hitler had outmaneuvered him at Munich, the interest shown toward this anti-war weapon had plunged. After several failed attempts to raise awareness of his superweapon and its capabilities, Tesla published a treatise in 1937 called The Art of Projecting Concentrated Non-Dispersive Energy Through the Natural Media. The thesis offered viable technicalities about this all-powerful invention that, as Tesla claimed, would put an end to all war. The original document is preserved to this day inside the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. After this move, Tesla had caught the attention of the Russians, who expressed a great deal of interest toward his invention. So, during the same year, Nikola Tesla had presented a more elaborate version of his plan to the Armtorg Trading Corporation, an alleged Soviet arms front in New York City. In 1939, the year the Second World War had begun, the first stage of this superweapons prototype was successfully tested in the USSR. To honor the agreement, Tesla received a check for $25,000 that would further allow him to fund his research. Of course, Tesla had passed from this existence four years later, without seeing some of his most intriguing inventions being used on a large scale. 